Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another review from me, Matt. Ah, that hurt. The berserker. Hope you guys are keeping safe and well. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for all the support that I'm getting here on my Beat It Berserker YouTube channel. And over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, where it's all about me, an old git with a beard who's in the Vikings, trying to help promote support and only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing, amazing products. And this is not a review. So I'm going to have a glug of coffee because... I'm worth it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, literally hit a thousand and five subscribers, which is absolute. It ain't a million subscribers, ain't a hundred thousand subscribers, it's a thousand subscribers. And that means so much to me. Considering I'm just an old git here in the UK, little iPad in front of him, trying his damned us to help support small brands, individuals and craftsmen only, not huge, massive, faceless brands. And it really has taken me by surprise, you know. I've been doing this for nearly three years now, give or take, and I've met some amazing people on this journey. And I've been sent something through that's not a review, just from the kindness of somebody else who likes what I do, each to their own, and it's kind of really touched me, you know, because I do a lot of reviews. I'm coming up to 450, nearly 500 reviews, something like that on this channel, and it's so nice, and a huge thank you. This is not a review whatsoever. This is a thank you to this chap who sends something across at the kindness of his heart, um, which has really kind of touched me, you know, because when I set this up, I was not expecting it to go anywhere. Let's face it, there's fucking thousands of YouTubers out there and promoters, that whole horrible word, ambassadors, and even worse fucking word that I really hate, influencers. I'm not an influencer. I'm not an ambassador. I'm a promoter. Whatever small brand it is, whatever individual it is, whatever craftsman it is, you know, it's here so they can use this video or the other videos that I do or their products on their own channels to kind of promote themselves. And I give honest reviews because let's face it, there's nothing worse than going out spending hard earned cash on whatever to have it turn up in the post and it's like, yeah, it's a waste of time, effort and money. It didn't live up to it. So all of the reviews that I do in order to help promote and support others are completely honest, completely unbiased, and always will be, in my own opinion. So this came through yesterday. Interesting story behind it. Um, there were two deliveries turning up from UPS. Mm. Yeah. And I suddenly got an email through saying your parcels from UPS have been delivered. And it was like, no, they ain't. I ain't been delivered here. Because I know where I live. Because this is the house that I live in. And they said, yeah, it's been delivered. I was like, no. So I, it took me hours to get through to UPS. Find out, look, what's going on? You get, go through to sort of like regular depot. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll get in touch with you local depot and they'll give you a call back within the hour and I hate that we'll give you a call back within an hour because it never happens and it turns out my wife was at work and UPS delivered to her so delivered the two packages to her at work and uh, to which when she was on here on her way home from lunch which she does when she's working she comes home for half an hour especially with me being furloughed at the moment um, due to this whole coronavirus malarkey and everything else I've got you two deliveries from UPS. I'm like, oh great, I've just spent the past hour and a half, two hours on the phone to them trying to find out where they were. You could have at least messaged me. But anyway, they have arrived. So the one review that i done earlier was for the Aviation Spirits uh, Gym. And the second one, very, very kindly, not a review. I hope the lighting's all right on this. Hiya, Matt. 
Hope you and the missus are keeping safe as well as we can do, apart from still got a broken hand, which I can't be bothered to go to the hospital with, because guarantee you go to the hospital with a broken hand, you come out with coronavirus. Um, this is probably the first letter I've done in ages. Yeah, tell me about it. We're all doing emails nowadays. Your YouTube channel and Instagram channels have been spot on. Just an old bloke trying his best. Um, one of these times when I'm back, we're going to have to get some beers. Here is a little something I would burn and paint it. Hope you enjoy. Cheers, John, whose name is John Paul Carter. Um, he was from Liverpool here in the UK and moved out to the States. I believe it's Canada. Someone that I followed um, pretty much since the start of... Uh, he, I'll tell you who he reminds me of. Uh, if you've ever watched Pirates of the Caribbean, he looks nothing like Jack Sparrow. But he does look very similar to Josh Me Gibbs. And every time I've seen him and the missus have seen him, because believe it or not, you would not notice looking at me but uh, a few years back, probably about five, six years ago, I used to be one of the UK's leading Jack Sparrow lookalikes and soundalikes, and he reminds me very similar to Josh Me Gibbs. Um, and he has very kindly, off his own bat, made this, sent this through because he likes what I do, or for whatever reason. Thank you very much for the letter. I have disinfected it and sanitised it. And this is what it's sent through. It's not just a plank of wood, because literally it is a plank of wood, but if you turn it over, thank you. Done by pyrography, which is the art of using something hot to create something burnt out of wood. And he has created, I think this is a George flag, with the beard of Viking on there. Thank you. This isn't here to promote what he does or anything like that because he's just sat there in his garage or wherever and he has made this, sent it through from the US and it means a whole lot to me, you know? Um, it, it has really touched me because I do a lot of reviews, don't get me wrong, I've done many, many, many reviews. Um, but for someone just to say, kind of like what you do, Thank you, and here you go, here's a gift. That is so nice, and I'm moving. Me and the wife, is it me and my wife? We're moving in the next month or so. Uh, literally, <coughs> next door, not far. Um, we rent our place, they rent their place, they're moving out, and they're sort of renting their place out. Uh, they are next door, and so we're gonna be taking over there and I'm creating a man cave, berserker room, review room, next door, which all of my lighting is really bad. I have to apologise for this. I'm moving myself around. And I'm going to put a hook on the back of this. And this is going to go pride of place in the new review room. All reviews will be done in there. And thank you so, so much to John, Scalcerism. Links will be down below. Give him a follow. I didn't even know he'd done pyrography, um, which is very slightly different to pornography, um, but the element of burning wood to achieve a design, and that has really, really touched me. Thank you so, so much, Scalcerism. John Paul, for sending that through. There was no need to send anything through, but out of all the reviews I've done, this has really kind of Thank you, you know, and kind of maybe proud of what I'm doing, if you know what I mean. And because you have those days of despondency where you're just like, oh, really? Oh, oh. No one's watching. And it's nice to kind of have some form of acknowledgement as to what you're doing, of kind of like really appreciate what you're doing and like what you're doing and watching what you're doing. Absolutely freaking stunning. Thank you so, so much. So, leading on from that, got to do some DIY, I've put some hooks on the back of it. Another video I've been asked to do, which I've just decided literally in the last five seconds, the review that I'm going to be doing. It's not a review, but the video that I'm adding on to this. And this is my tattoos. 
Lots of people have been asking me about my tattoos, what they mean, and everything else. So here we go. This is going to be a quick one. I'm going to have a glug of coffee. Oh, can't beat coffee. Um, so, message. My tattoos. I've been, I'm not one of these ones that go in for kind of these new pieces of art. There's some phenomenal tattoos and everything out there. Um, especially the newer stuff with all the portraits and neo-traditional and traditional tattoos. I started collecting when I was a tattoos around about when I was 19, 20 years old, just after I came out of the fire service. And I fell in love with them. And to me, it's not about the artwork. It's more about the meaning behind the tattoos. And so, sorry, John, Scouserism, um, for doing this on top of your video. But my tattoos and what they mean, because a lot of people have been asking about it. So, many years ago, I used to be in a lifeboat crew. Uh, because I live by the sea. And I used to live by the sea. And before then, funnily enough, I used to live by the sea. And um, something attracts me to the sea and the water. So one of the tattoos I've got is 20, which is my old lifeboat crew number. I have an anchor symbol, hence the lifeboats. But also at the same time, I have surf written on my hand because believe it or not, I used to teach little kiddies how to surf, as in not SUP and stuff but proper surfing, so I have surf there. Hence the reason, all standing up, I have a girl on the surfboard here, and also on my arm, if I stretch it round enough, you'll see my duck saying surf's up, based on an old Sailor Jerry tattoo. So surfing is and was a massive part of my life and being in the sea. But also at the same point, not realising and not intentional, anchor and you, you anchor, you anchor, whichever, um, that was not thought out, that was purely us. We have two skull and crossbones um, with the M and the K on there, M for Matt and K for my wife Kim. Also I have my wife's name here and this is not the only wife's tattoo. A lot of people turn around and they say, don't get your girlfriend wife's name tattooed on you because it, it's kind of like the kiss of death, you know? You'll, you'll have your wife or whatever's tattoo on you and you'll split up from them. I've had so many times my wife's name tattooed on me. I've been married now for 18 years together, 19 years. And she is, whatever happens in the future is in the future, you know? Forget about that. But... It's a huge part of my life being with my wife, hence the reason I wanted to not commemorate her because she's still alive, um, but kind of like she means a lot to me, which is why I've got the tattoo there. Also got the pieces of eight, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, funny enough, in my wallet, I don't know, uh, bad hand, it's still there, but na, 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 na. somewhere in here, in my wallet, somewhere, better be. Anyway, I'll leave that to another video. Uh, but uh, for an anniversary present, my wife actually bought me a genuine piece of eight, is in a piece of eight from a sunken treasure ship, and which is really nice of a blesser. And so that is why I have the pirates pieces of eight. I can't find it at the moment, but we'll get there eventually. Um, you'll notice a load of Japanese on me as well. Used to do loads and loads of martial arts. Um, That's one of them there. And various bits and pieces here and there. I've also got three skulls with their tongues entwined on my forearm, which is my mum, my dad and my sister, because I was always seen as the black sheep of the family. So it's basically showing that they are as thick as thieves and their tongues intertwined. I'm not a part of it. Hence the reason that is there. We also have the swallow there with my wife's name there because if you drown at sea, which is quite prevalent if you're in the Yarra and Alai or do a lot of surfing, that 
uh, sparrow stroke swallow it's supposed to bring your soul back to your loved one that is why that is there I have love life written on one hand because it always reminds me when I'm doing stuff because I am right handed even though it's broken at the moment um, love life make the most of it that is why I had that done always was a reminder to make the most out of every day like I say my wife's name there and uh, what else have we got on here um, I've got two pigs here making bacon which I'm not going to go into because it's fairly personal between me and my wife and everything else and not having kids and stuff like that and fertility treatment and stuff um, but that's what that means also have a spider web on each elbow not greatly done but it was based that was basically a filling and if I take my glasses off just for a second so I can get to everything else Ooh. excuse me uh, on my thigh here I have a huge female pirate pinup um, here me and my wife death do us part here I've got uh, one of the uh, what are they call runes bind runes for me and my wife my wife's initial MKFE which is Matt and Kim forever that I had done as a charity thing as Captain Jack um, me and my wife we both have the same tattoo I've got pardon my nipple I have a swallow there here there you go more Viking stuff there the helm of all there um, anchor there as well due to the lifeboats um, the other bind rune as well that is on my axe for Matt and Kim on my shoulder because I was Jack Sparrow I've got pirate as fuck there you go wife's got one as well because she used to run a sweet shop she's got sweet as fuck written on her arm uh, chap that I used to know called Emlyn uh, this is a one liner tattoo um, he wanted to do the smallest he's ever done and he done a pirate ship there old tribal stuff from the 90s um, here as well that design I got it because it's my wife and my head don't know where, don't know where you can see that the two skulls there pirate there rip curl because that was the only wetsuits that I used to get tortuga because of Captain Jack and you will notice these little pirate symbols everywhere else um, basically I have every single pirate flag including black beards there Ram as well. Why is the ram always gone? And I've got a crack in there. Left hand shoulder. Uh, yeah, left hand shoulder. I've got a uh, red hot chili peppers stroke Mayan thing that was absolutely abolished when I really bad when I first had it done. It's been reinked since then uh, to try and correct it. Still not fantastic. On my back, I have a huge. Uh, skull and crossbones there pirate flag hopefully that's picking it up not finished that's one of the places on my body that I hate having tattoos I've got a couple of tattoos on me that I done myself um, I've got one here that was after a bottle of rum I sat there with the tattoo machine decided one eye I'm gonna tattoo myself did not work out well I'm on the back of my neck as well don't know where the camera's gonna pick that up but I have a skull with a heart in it and crossbones for my wife. And that is pretty much, I think so far, I, done, I did do a tattoo down below, which I'm not going to show you. I've done it myself. Did not work out extremely well uh, when you're drunk. Um, my tattoos are crap. I know the artwork ain't up to much but they all hold meaning and something to me um, even with like the Celtic band that runs through everything that I've got on me has a meaning and means something to my life and that tattoo there was the first ever tattoo that I got uh, you can see it there which if you rewind the original Point Break with Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves in it uh, there was a chap in there called Bunker and just as he comes through the door and um, just as Keanu Reeves is about to break into their place there was a picture of his tattoo on the screen where he sat there with a gun 
which got me into surfing in the first place, which is why that tattoo is there. That is kind of made to make almost like an anchor shape. Um, I've got my little Viking bits in there as well, the Celtic stuff, because part Scottish and Welsh and God knows what else. That is my tattoos. Mm. Nothing fantastic. Ever since watching Vikings, I've been seeing these sides of the head tattoos and neck tattoos. I don't see the point in getting a neck tattoo when I've got a beard, which is going to cover it up. But I am looking at maybe something out there. Um, so, yeah, if anybody wants to comment down below on anything, please feel free to do so. Um, I do read each and every single comment that is made. This is my tattoos and what they mean to me. Like I say, nothing's just been done because I like that one. Although the elbows were because it was just filling shit. Because uh, I'm... I wasn't one of these people that sees a whole arm design, or sort of arm sleeve, and like, I'm having that done. I like to pick individual designs that makes up a sleeve. My wife, I mean, she's got a full arm on one side, and starting on the other side, she's had a back tattoo, she's got leg tattooed, calf tattooed. Um, I do want to get lots, lots more. Uh, this is not um, the finish of my tattoos by any means whatsoever. But there you go, my tattoos. So thank you so, so much to John, Scalcerism. Links will be down below. I hope you've enjoyed this little review. And whatever you do, stay safe. Keep on helping and supporting each other because sometimes we all need support in life. Keep on loving each other because you only live once. Make the most of it. My hand is absolutely killing now. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear your masks. Stay out of the way of idiots because there's loads of me in town today. I've just met the wife from work and come back and done this review or video. Stay safe, guys. I'd love to hear from you if anyone needs any help and support. If anyone wants to suddenly turn up on my doorstep with a tattoo machine and go, yeah, let's do a live tattoo. Let's do it. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.